Hey folks, I'm Steve Beliscus with Mount Comfort RV. Today I want to go over with you one of the most uniquely built, highest quality built, bottom line coolest trailer on the market today. This is the 2015 Cricket Sport. If you haven't seen these before, you're in for a treat. There are a couple videos online. I'm going to try to show you some, uh, some other things as well. But the bottom line is this is a company down in Houston designed by a NASA architect. So kind of space age but with wheels on it for the ground. Let you all take a look there. If you look up here first, you'll notice we have it hooked up to our Jeep. It pulls it like it's nothing. I mean, it's, it's absurd. I have an F-250 gas truck and it usually knows when I got something because it's gas, but it didn't even notice I had anything behind me when I had it. So what you're looking at is bottomed up six feet, nine inches, so you can get it in most garages. Now you're looking at 14 feet long and what that tells you, my wife sent, or excuse me, CRV is 13 and a half feet long. So you're the size of a small SUV. And at 1,500 pounds, give or take a little bit, depending on the options you put in there, you can be towed by nearly anything. But if we start out with the front, let's take a look up here. We do have it optioned in with the storage box. If you open this up, you'll see we've got our wheel in here. So when you're ready to put it down, just crank your jack down, put the wheel on, get it off the vehicle. Um, you can roll it around very easily at this point. Also, you notice on the Sport Edition, you come with an aluminum rubber coated shield, rock shield, so nothing's gonna ding up your front while you're going down the road. And this is how you take it off, or you open it up, I should say. You've got your release here. I do not have the safety pin in. I was just driving about a mile back here from our lot. But you pull this up, pull that out, and you're released right there. Walking over to the inside, follow me in here just a little bit. You've got a metal clasp here. You push, release, bring down and push down, lock into place. You won't see it, but it's the same thing on this side. Hold this down while you do it so it doesn't try to lift up on you. I'm released there, and it kind of wants to lift up on its own, but then when you push, don't push like this. You can pinch your fingers. That's it, you're done. Easier to set up than an A-frame. Doesn't get much simpler. Take a look at the door, and I wish I had a cutout to show you guys, but if we can get inside this handle, this is how the whole trailer is made. Aluminum um, on the outside, styrofoam, and aluminum again. Absolutely, positively, no structural wood in this trailer at all. You've got some reinforcements built in here, okay? And you can kind of see where they have rivets on the inside, but the beautiful thing about it, like I said, no wood. But if you close your window, First off, we're so used to RVs around here, this is a breath of fresh air, something very interesting. When you open it, there's no little latch or anything. All you do, and it's grabbed it. You've got plenty of holes here to hang things around with carabiners. If you want to tie lines up to hang clothes, hang packs on, you can do that with this. What? Let's keep moving around. You can always play a game to see who can find all the crickets. We got cricket cutouts here, we got cricket cutouts over there, but, um, and you'll see how it's dented right here. And I hate to call it dented because this is purposeful, but when you get inside, you're kind of going to see why that's done the way it is, and I'll explain it there. But right here with the Sport Edition, we do have 15 inch tires with a little bit bigger wheels inside, or excuse me, a little bit different style of wheel inside than the standard. Your orange material is completely the same up top. And you'll notice you have holes here. You have another latch point up there and another here. Like I said, it's another place you can hang things, what I would use it for. I've got a great Kelty tarp. I can tie some ball in lots, some carabiners, and then I can spring, spring up a nice tarp and either stake it into the ground or if there's trees, I can tie it to trees and have that. We've got a seating platform here. Please excuse me, it's dirty. This is how this thing's supposed to be. We'll clean it when we get back. But if you need to sit down here, too easy. Change your shoes, take a break. 12 volt outdoor outlet. And we've got this option with the Thule rack. This has got a 200 pound weight limit, and I'm 195 pounds. You see, it holds me fine. But to release this, all you do is push up on this. You got four of those and lift it off. Spare tire comes up on top the way we have it now. It can be mounted underneath very easily. So if you want to put a few bikes up there, or a couple kayaks, you can. You put it underneath, it'll just lower your clearance a little bit. As you saw from the video, we had to take a couple uh, ruts to get out here. So I wanted to leave it up there for now. Now, taking a look along the back, you'll notice more tie-down points here. 
stabilizer jacks here and one on the other side, of course. And just like they developed it a few years ago, it's supposed to come up the back hatch so you have a nice place to sit down, get a little bit of shade, airflow. Stepping around to the back side, very similar in design to the front. You notice Zamp Solar Power. These are made to go, the Cricket Trailer, three days running hot water heater, fridge, your lights on one battery. No outside support necessary. But if you did have a longer period of time or you just wanted to have a completely self-contained unit, hook up a Zamp Solar Panel, now you're completely self-sufficient. 110 outlet here. No need for the big 30 amp stuff you see on regular RVs. That one in 10 outlet will go into a converter which will charge your battery if you are happen to be plugged into a shore power outlet. Potable waters right here, just fill it up and then close it. And then if you do have a pressurized connection, you can plug it in right here. Just make sure that you have a pressure regulator to bring it down to 35 PSI. And if you ever forget, it says it right here. And this is your breather vent for your battery. This is just completely unique. Very self-sufficient, very self-contained. Let's take a look at the inside. Folks, now we're inside the Cricut. It's very nice and cool in here. We've got all the windows open up. We got the doors open. It's like a nice tree shade with plenty of breeze coming through. But let's start up with the kitchen area and let's start off with your lights. First off, you got a switch here. You're not gonna be able to see it, but if you flick that on, it's nighttime. You got a red step light that'll be outside. And then if you'll notice up here, these are your LED kitchen lights. You've got your water pump and your hot water switches right here, and I'm not gonna hit those since we have no water in the system right now. But you'll see, taking a look in here, you've got your shower nozzle for the outside. What you have here is you've got a tarp, and it's hard to see from where you're at, but you just have to trust me on this, where you've got snaps in the ceiling where you can open it up, snap into the ceiling each side. So if you wanna make a little privacy back here for sleepers, you can do that as well. You got a little bit more storage under here, and all crickets do come with the 110 power outlet, so if you do wanna plug into shore power, you can do that. And in here, you've got your nice portable Dometic indoor-outdoor toilet with a self-contained black tank. We just got it covered up by the Cricut towel clipped in here and clipped in here. And you've got a toilet paper roll in there if you'd like, and a little bit more storage here. Now, taking a look up to your counter space, you'll notice your very European-style faucet. Metal sink, so you can put hot pans in there after you're done cooking on your Primus stove. And this just takes those little one pound bottles. You can get it nearly any store nowadays, Walmart or any outdoor store, and it's safe to use indoors and outdoors. Now, if you can kinda peek under here as well, you'll see a little bit more storage, and that's just where I've got the box to the Prima stove. And since we're here, let's take a look at your fridge. Right now, I've got it on set to two, because I do have a Coke in there for later. All right, it's cold as hell in there, excuse my language, but it's unbelievable, I've had it on 10 minutes. It's like an ice box already. But if you wanted to take this outside, you could actually unclip this from the side, it's just push button release and slides out, and you can always take it outside and plug it into your 12 volt receptacle out there. That's what I love about it. But, and for me, when I come in, this is usually what I sit down on. Um, taking a look under here, you notice, I'm not gonna do it, but this is where your 12 volt battery is, and if you want another one in there, we can do that for you right easily. And I know you've all seen this before, but wonderful way that they've done the puck and the pull set up. Just push this button here, down, pull up, and it releases, and then comes right out. But it locks in much, much better than I have ever seen anything done before. And then they give you a nice little pull here. Lock it in. Put your table back on there. Take your extra cushion, put it in there, and now you've got a queen size bed. You're 60 inches up here, it narrows down there to about 55. So, me and my wife will just sleep like this, but if I take my brother along, it's me and my brother, you know, we obviously won't have the center part there and head, head, feet, feet, no big deal.